Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing new system test one with the new basement system, so let's get started. So the demo boards are not going anywhere, so don't worry about that. I'm going to be converting that into the mini system test series. However, this is going to be the new official uh, fire alarm system. And the reason for that is because, well, you'll see. I have a lot of expansions, a lot of it is professionally done, and I'm excited to show it off. So first of all, at the panel, we are in the panel room. Um, this is actually a Notifier SFP 10UD. This is not an RP2001, but the cabinet is from an RP2001. But if we look at it, you can see it's a 10 zone fire panel. You can see I also have it programmed to say basement fire system, which is kind of cool. And of course I have two batteries and then of course a bag of random parts. I obviously can't guarantee that everything that I've done on this system is 100% up to code, but I will say it's a little more professional than demo systems. Um, I've created in the past years usually are. You can see, of course, the whole system is wired with FPL, fire alarm wire. Um, I used bushings and all that stuff. Everything is stapled down, properly installed. Um, and of course, I have actually fished wire through the ceilings and walls and stuff like that, which took a lot of time and effort. Um, but I did my best to make it as professional as possible but again i do have home smoke alarms so this is not a protective system so right under the panel the first device is the notifier lng1r this was originally um addressable but i converted it to conventional um obviously i can't use a addressable pole station with a conventional system this pole station is a little flimsy like you know i feel like i I'm probably going to break it if I keep pulling it because it is a plastic pull station. And basically, this is a tab pull station. So it, the lock is supposed to like pull past this metal part and then it releases that button. Um, but for this test, I will just be key activating it because I don't really want to. Next, it. if we follow that wire uh, across the ceiling, you can see that there is a system sensor 2100 TS uh, conventional two wire smoke detector. This is actually a really nice smoke detector. I think it's um, one of the nicer looking ones. It's basically just a cooler version of the i3. Um, if you watch my channel for a while, you know I'm not necessarily a fan of the i3 just because I feel like they are a little bit slow at activating and uh, I just prefer the older detectors. Um, this is completely separate from that 2400 over there, which is part of the security system in the house and not the fire panel. Um, so ignore that detector. Just that's the fire alarm system detector. Um, so if we look, you can see that there's some wires going into the ceiling there. So that must mean that I have done some stuff. Um, if we go over to this place, you can see that I do have a Wheelock CH70 chime strobe. It's actually a CH90 technically because I actually put it behind a uh, E90. It was actually a wall out version. I just put it behind the uh, ceiling mount speaker strobe. So technically now it's a ceiling mount chime strobe. Uh, I also have a system sensor 2151, a very nice detector. And then also something new is that I have a carbon monoxide detector, which is what that yellow device in the utility room is four that's the carbon monoxide alarm so i will test that this finally time. for the last spot i do have this this is in the i don't know what this is really called it's technically the basement bedroom but um i just use it as hobby storage so you can see i do store some extinguisher displays alarms stuff like that of course this is not finished that's why it's a little you know messy in here but i did go ahead and install this and by the way, the reason I have the ability to just flush mount stuff is because these are access panels and uh, it makes it really easy to fish wire through the ceiling. But also, if I ever needed to like take down these devices, it's pretty easy to just replace the piece of wood because um, it's not anything damaging to the drywall or whatever. So you can see here, I have my Cerberus Pyrotronics uh, speakers. I mean... Technically, it's a chime strobe now because I have it set on the chime setting. And then I also have a 2400. So, of course, I have the entire system set on chimes because, of course, Christmas chimes. The CH90 is a chime strobe, and these are both set on the very annoying Cerberus Pyrotronics chime tones. So, let's go ahead and set it off. Oh yeah, I forgot. The, the devices are also on California code, so that's why they... Okay. 
This one is exceptionally loud because it's on high volume. Okay, obviously because this system is uh, set to audible silence, the strobes will continue flashing uh, even when I silence the system. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Next, let's go ahead and uh, test that detector. All right, I'm on a ladder and I'm gonna go ahead and test this detector now. Basically, um, this particular one does not have a magnetic test feature. So what I do is I have to like stick something sharp into that little hole and then there we go. So for today's test, I'm not gonna go ahead and activate the 2400 because it's pretty much just the same thing as the um, other detector I tested, but I am gonna go ahead and do the carbon monoxide alarm now. And also just to make things more fun, I'm gonna activate the detector, the smoke detector, at the same time, just to see how loud we can get things. So let's do that. All right, so for this part of the test, I decided to turn off the lights just to make everything a little more festive. Um, so first I'm gonna hit the test button on the CO alarm. I'm gonna do that. Also, the uh CO alarm is non-silenceable, so the only way to get it to turn off is to reset the system, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. All right, so that's pretty much all I have for this particular system test. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you like the new system. Um, again, the demo boards are not going anywhere, and uh, this is just the new updated system. So yeah, thanks for watching.